Ever since I got Final Cut Pro 10, I've had people ask me what a compound clip is, you know, and how you use them. So, I, I've been watching tutorials, and I've been playing around with Final Cut, and I've, I think I've gotten a pretty decent idea of what they are and how they're used. So, well, this is going to be a tutorial on how exactly to use them and what they do. So, as you can see here, I've imported two clips. They're both unboxings. Both you can watch right on my channel. So, I'll, I'll go ahead, and I will just take a little bit of my hub unboxing video, about that much, and I'll drag it into my timeline. It's actually a little much, I'll shorten that up a little bit. And I'll take a little bit of my flighters unboxing and I'll make that a separate layer. That's a little much. Let's try like that. Still a little much. Oops. So I'll go ahead and I'll shorten that up a little bit. And I'll also add a cut right before it. So when I play this back, you guys will see what happens. But first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop my audio down. It's kind of peak in there. Alright, so I'll make that cut again, and here we go. That's what it's called or not, but uh, this is one standard standard standard. So as you can see, when I hit this clip, it kind of just jump cuts, and this clip disappears until this clip is finished, and then this one will come back. But now, let's say I want to add, you know, like I cross this off, make this look a little bit better. Uh, so I'll do a control V, and I'll bring up my video animation. So from here, I can go to opacity, and I could adjust my fade in, fade out. So I can just kind of pretty this up a little bit. I'll do a control B again to hide that menu. And I'll play this back one more time. Or not, but, uh, this is one standard standard standard. So as you can see, it fades in there. It looks much nicer. I do have two audio streams, so I'll take one out completely. Or not, but... Uh, this is one standard definitely for printers. So as you can see, we have something like that. And along with this, I'll go ahead and I will detach this audio. So I, I have three, I guess, layers, tracks, whatever you want to call them. I have three of them. And if you look at this compared to this, this looks a lot more complex than it has to. And especially if you have many pro or many layers of, at the end of a project. For example, my video is how I have my little outros at, at the end of every video. So I'll even go up to this and you should be able to see one. Right here, I have multiple layers. And so if you have something like that in Final Cut Pro 10, it can look kind of complicated. So using a compound clip, you can make it look much nicer and much less confusing. So in order to do that, you want to drag a marquee, or you could just command click whichever clips you want. From there, you can right click and you can see a new option, new compound clip is available. And the keyboard shortcut for that would be option G. So when I click that or, cl or hit option G, as you can see, those now have become one clip. And if I play this back, it's called or not, but uh, this is one standard definitely for print. Everything is preserved exactly the way I had it. But now let's say I want to add something, you know, and I want to add it in the middle of this clip. How would I go about doing that? Well, it's very easy. As you can see, there's something else here now, that little icon there. Or you could even just double click it and I will bring up that clip and only that clip. You cannot edit anything else except that clip when you're in this view. So if I wanted to add something here, Let's say I want to have it go to this video, cut back to my hub unboxing, and then come back to my flatters unboxing. If you do a shift delete, that now becomes empty space. And further, we have the hub itself. So it would be something like that. And of course, you could adjust your fade in and fade out. I could also add, you know, like a fade into this. So, so I'll come here, I'll do a control V once again. I'll go to opacity and add something like this. So as you see, I'm editing stuff within this clip. You know, I could even apply. Um, trends or filters I guess you could say like camcorder so I'll apply a camcorder to that and bloom to that so now when I play it back further we have the hub itself I have all those effects there and now to exit this view I simply hit this little arrow here and now when I play that back as you can see it, it needs to be rendered but that is being taken care of in the background here so I'll play this back uh, but uh, this is one oops I'll get rid of this render menu called or not but uh, this is one standard definitely for printers stuff like that so as you, as you guys can see all those edits have been made and I still only have one clip in my timeline and it just makes it a lot easier to see and like I said if you want to come in here and edit this a lot more precisely you have the freedom to do that I could even make a, you know like a cut here double click that and I, I'm free to edit this exactly how I would on the main storyline but now it's within a clip so I'll go ahead and, uh, and I'll um, open up one of my other projects. So I'll come back here, and here's a video I did. This is my Why the Final Cut Pro 10 Hate Does It Deserve the Hate video. And as you can see at the end here, I have a compound clip. 
And it, it has all these layers in it. You guys, thanks, thanks for watching. So as you can see, that external audio is in there and everything. So if I want to edit this, it flies out. And as you guys can see, I have many layers of video. I have my track here called Messing About. I made in GarageBand, just me messing around. My background layer. Check out my other content. I Tech City. And of course, the two videos. And so this all looks much nicer. I mean, imagine having this. Now I have that. So you can definitely see the use for compound clips. That's pretty much all they are. I really don't have much more to show you guys, but I hope that helped you. And I hope you guys can see how useful they really are. So before this video gets any longer, thank you for watching. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Go ahead and check me out there. I, I might be doing some more Final Cut Pro 10 videos uh, fairly soon. However, I still do have a lot to learn with this program, but I have gotten a lot better with it. I've been messing around a lot. So I will continue to pump out videos. I, like I said, I might be doing some more Final Cut 10 tutorials. But uh, keep your eye on my channel for the usual content. So thanks for watching.